CataractCoach.com, pre-chopper for nucleus division. So this is a quick and easy technique to learn. You can instantly create two nuclear halves. Let me show you the case here. So obviously a real cataract, a lot of poster subcapsular changes. Looks like that left hand, a crescent blade used to make a little bit of a pocket here. And didn't quite end the AC yet. Let's see what's going on with this technique. I'm here to learn like you. The pre-chopper is a neat thing. Been popularized by a surgeon in Japan named Akahoshi. And that pre-chopper is just a way of really splitting up that nucleus pretty easily. Oh, good. So I'm starting off the tunnel with the crescent and now going in with the keratome in the left hand. That looks pretty good. And now filling up the eye with, um, I guess, viscoelastic. Maybe that was anesthetic. Didn't look like viscoelastic, so let's call it anesthetic. Ah, that was anesthetic. Here's your visco. No, tripan blue dye. All right, I'm learning here. So we'll try pan blue dye. I thought the red reflex was pretty good. Not really sure why you need the tripan blue dye, but hey, use it. Remember, across the world, tripan blue dye is relatively inexpensive. Here in the USA, it's about $66 to use one vial of tripan blue. So there you go. There is your viscoelastic fill now. And you can see there's a nice tunnel length of the incision. The tripan also stains the corneal stroma, so you can see it's a good tunnel length. I like that incision. And now some maybe some HPMC or other kind of uh, viscous liquid being put on top of the cornea to give us a nice clear view. And now we'll get the capsular excellence. So actually this video is shown at two times normal speed. So again, there's no rush in doing these cases. Take your time using a needle there to poke in. Instead of a bent needle, it looks like a straight needle, slicing across and flipping over. I like that technique. Here comes the capsular excess. Obviously, for any of these chop techniques, pre-chop or even divide and conquer, you need to have a nice intact and solid capsular excess. This looks really good. A little running out a little bit here in the sub area. And bringing that back around. Pretty good. I'll take it. I like it. So hydro dissection. So the pre-chop is just basically placing these two blades, if you will, into the center of the nucleus and then separating them. And there's old hydro delineation too. I like that. That helps delineate where that endonucleus is. And there it is in the center of the eye. Now, I'm not a big user of the pre-chop technique because for me, I just rather go inside the eye now and use the phaco probe to hold the nucleus and just use my chopper and just break it up. But certainly this works as well. So now you got a paracentesis being made. Okay, there's the paracentesis incision, a little more viscoelastic. And here comes the pre-chopper. So you can see it's like a blade almost. It goes right in the center and just spread it apart. And you will split that nucleus into halves. And now look, even that first half into a quadrant. And you can rotate it more if you need to and get the other half split as well. So now you have an easy quadrant that you can just go inside and take out. Hey, it's worth trying. If you're having trouble learning fake or chop, this is a nice way to chop the nucleus even before putting the probe in the eye. So here comes the phaco probe now. And now the second hand is just like some sort of paddle or spatula to just kind of feed the pieces in. So taking out some of the anterior cortical material. And let's take a look here. And then there's that first piece, making sure it's fully split. And then I like that extra effort to make sure the piece is fully split so you can get that quadrant up and out of the capsule bag and just emulsify it. Very nicely done. So you can see one quadrant's already removed. And then the second quadrant will probably be removed next. And then the half can come last. So I'd leave that epinuclear shell. I wouldn't worry about that for now. So you know, there you go, rotating it. First splitting it a little bit more with that spatula and the phaco tip and getting out the second quadrant. And then what's remaining in the capsule bag now is just the half. And because the first half's already removed, there's a lot more room. You can now bring that piece up. Oh, now to a chopper. Okay, I like that. So that second half brought up and now a chop in there. So hey, this is pre-chopper to create the halves and, and two quadrants, and then to make the last two quadrants using a regular old chopper, which I like. This is a ball-tipped version. And then there's the epinuclear shell out. Pretty clean. So obviously many ways of doing the surgery. No one way is right or wrong. You do what make, what's best for you, what's best in your own hands. And so obviously this surgeon has a lot of skill with doing this pre-chop technique and is able to get that nucleus out and use a minimal amount of phaco energy, minimal amount of fluid, and it looks great. Here's polishing up our, uh, our capsule and taking out all that cortex. A lot of that sticky stuff that's adhered there, most of that should come out. There's the wispy stuff. Here's polishing the undersurface of the anterior capsule rim. I tend to do it the same way using that IA probe. 
And this is an IA probe where the whole tip looks like it's a silicone. And that can be a little bit extra margin of safety as well. So I like that. So nicely cleaned up, a little extra polishing there. But if you're, listen, if you're a novice surgeon, take it easy on the capsule polishing, right? First, do no harm. Get the, get the more important steps down first. And the little details like that can wait until you're a lot more confident. And so now filling up our capsule bag, you remember the saying, right? First, do no harm. You learned that in your first day of med school. And at this point, the IOL can be inserted and we can finish the case. So another technique that you may want to try, the pre-chopper technique. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. cataractcoach.com. Check it out.